Hi, Christina. Uh, my name is Matt Gress, and uh, I'm coming to you today from Hartsville, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. I uh, just wanted to respond to your post uh, because I uh, many of the thoughts that you, you uh, presented here, um, I certainly share and understand uh, completely. So uh, I'll just dive right in. Christina, uh, the first thing you, you say is I have to admit this video was quite triggering. It would be rather challenging for me as the counselor, if Sherry came to me for advice, given her dismissive and defensive attitude toward uh, Annie. Uh, and, and yeah, that was a really difficult video to watch, um, especially from, you know, my cultural, uh, you know, our cultural uh, uh, perspective. Um, and, and also just um, from a sense of human decency. Uh, the fact that uh, th this young lady, Annie, um, was uh, clearly raped, uh, traumatized, um, uh, instead of her coming to you from help, the person for help, uh, the person uh, who dismissed her, even uh, really attacked her in many ways, is the one coming to you for help, uh, and that would be incredibly difficult. Um, and so, I think at, at that point, what we first of all, we do not have to accept Sherry's viewpoint uh, that uh, it's okay for this to have happened. What we do need to do, though, is try to step into our shoes, uh, try to understand where she's coming from, um, and really sort of investigate and examine her, you know, her background and why this is happening. And, you know, as, as you mentioned in here, you go through a lot of the things that Peterson et al., um, you know, 2016, uh, from Counseling Across Cultures, uh, you, all the reasons sort of behind some of this this um, attitude and this viewpoint that Sherry has. And um, I also wanted to uh, mention a few things from that same book. Um, you know, they say, you know, in Asian cultures, uh, on page 127, uh, Asian culture also places higher value on males than on females. Um, and and that is very true throughout their culture. And it's almost as if, um, you know, in this case, uh, Sherry is, is basically uh, saying, and Annie even references Sherry's own submissiveness and allowing things that apparently to have happened from her own husband um, because they, they are treated lower or looked at as lower than the males in society. Um, but... On 131, it does say understanding the cultural worldview of Asian Americans can help mental health providers recognize the coping strategies their, Amer their Asian American clients use when experiencing psychological distress. And I do think that part of what Sherry is doing is she's using coping strategies that she has used her, you know, she has learned her entire life, you know, from the culture that she comes from and the way that she had, uh, you know, has been treated throughout her life. Um, further, um, though, I would say one of the things we need to do, though, is step back. Try to put our bias aside, in the, especially in the beginning of our relationship with Sherry in a counseling session, because we're not going to help her change or see other viewpoints or anything by speaking at her. Um, but we can help and hopefully have some long-term change and maybe help shift her attitudes a bit, especially toward Annie, if we show compassion and empathy. Uh, in Collins' uh, book, Christian Counseling, uh, from 2007, I just wanted to read, um, you know, it says, uh, it was found, uh, he's referencing a study here, and it was found that relationships grew and patients improved when the therapist showed high levels of warmth, genuineness, and accurate empathic understanding. So I, in this case, although it's so hard, I think what we would need to do is step back See Sherry as a human being that has come from her own background, her own cultural uh, viewpoints and perspectives, the things that have been done to her, the things that she has done. And if we can step back there and see her as a human and not just focus on the situation at hand at first, we can be genuine, empathic, and listening uh, through a compassionate ear. And I think if we can build that foundation, perhaps change can come. So, Christina, thank you for your thoughts this week. Um, I would ask you specifically, what would you do, what could you do when you start working with Sherry uh, if you were in that situation that would help that relationship grow? Uh, thank you. I um, hope to communicate with you again throughout this class.